The calls keep coming. But finding staff to answer them is more difficult because of the pandemic. Certainly the challenges of last year were like nothing we'd ever seen. Raytown has 12 first responders on duty 24 seven. Last year, seven people resigned. Half of them left the industry. Said they couldn't go places, they couldn't blow off steam and they worked a lot because there was a lot of overtime. Wages are flat, quarantines and sick coworkers forced many to take extra shifts. We had a lot of burnout from firefighters and paramedics uh, due to the uh, increased uh, call volume. Kansas City Fire lost three of its members to COVID-19. Many EMS stayed away from family to prevent bringing the virus home from work. There was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear. So yes, uh, early on, I think that's gotten a lot better now that the, vaccine, the vaccine's out. Paramedic schools have reopened so candidates can earn the required two-year degree and many hope wages will improve. We have to get more funding. We have to get the Medicaid expansion through. We'll be there in any way we can. But we need to encourage young men and women to apply for the fire service. They say it's a great career. In Raytown, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9.